All right, I'm starting out in v5 for a reason. In v5, if I wanted to change the lighting, and this is a tool that's heavily used by a lot of people that do surfacing, you would historically go into view, lighting, and you'd get your light source. You can change the position of the light. You can have two light sources. You could also do neon lights, right? sort of give it a, uh, it almost looks like a material has been applied to it. You can do no lights. You can also change all of the good stuff over here. Right? So you can change the ambience and specularity and, and all sorts of other things that you can do with the lighting. Great tool. Historically, you just put it off to the side, leave it there, and you would manipulate the little stem here for the light source. Okay, so that's how I would work. I leave it over here, do what I want to do, because that menu, this menu, will stay up. All right, let me minimize that. Now we come into 3D experience. A friend of mine was asking, well, where's, where's my light source? I need my light source. I want my light source. I have to have my light source, because that's sort of the initial view, how you look at things before you take a deeper dive with some of the analysis tools, or maybe it's the last thing you use. So within 3D Experience, you go into View, and under View, you have Ambiance and Camera. I'm going to click on that. So the Ambiance is basically your background. What are you working in? What context are you working in for background? So all of these, so there's my white review. If I right mouse click, I go into ambiance or right here. All right, so I'll go into blue design. And right now everything is set to default. If I change the default and say override, well, will you look at that? I have my lighting right here. Let me move this up out of the way. Okay, and I have my intensity. I got my one light, I got my two lights. So there's my neon map. How many neons do I want? What's my main axis of the neons? So I have more options here for all of this. Okay. Do I want to see the ground, default, fixed, background, uniform, gradient? So you have options here, and you can pick your gradient that you want for your backgrounds. Okay, so you have all sorts of things that you can do in this panel that you didn't have in the other lighting panel coming out of V5. It's just you go into a different place to get this panel. Okay, so I'm going to change this back to default, uh, change my lighting back to a double or single, or again, no lights if you don't want any lights. And there's your intensity. Um, I have mapping, there's my default, I have ambient inclusion, I can override all that camera, I can override the camera, so there's a lot that I can do in this. Now, this is the nice thing about this. Notice that there is no OK on this. This is now up. I can take this, move it off to the side, it's open, it's just off on the side, and I can leave it there. Okay, so I put this over here. I can do what I want to do. Here are my view modes. Maybe I want to change my view mode. And I want to go with uh, just standard shading. So I don't look at the edges. And then now I can begin manipulating this guy. All right. So I have a reset button on the side right over here. Let me bring this back over here. I can reset this back to its original position. Bring this back out. And and so on and so forth. So I have all those options that I had before, but here on a different panel. And you have a lot more options. So if I wanted to, I can come over here. Oh, I don't want to use blue design. Maybe I want to use dark mirror. Okay, so now my ambiance has changed to dark mirror. It's just up here. And once again, can manipulate it, change my lights, there's my background, etc., etc. All right. So, for those of you that are looking for that light, it's there. It's just under the ambiance and camera option, and you need to change that from uh, the parameters from default to override.